Hello everyone, welcome back to my another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. Today I am going to show you this, how to create a realistic fire text effect in Photoshop. This tutorial will be very useful for who all are working with studio, title making and some more. Head over to file and create a new document and make the width, 1920, and height, 10A to keep the resolution in 72. Then press hit OK. Head down and make sure your foreground color was set to black. Now we are going to apply foreground color to our background layer. Press Alt plus delete key for apply our foreground color to background layer. Now we applied black color on background layer. Next we are type text on that black layer. Select the type tool or press T for shortcut. Before we are type text make sure to change the text color to white. Type your text whatever you want. I am going to type G-A-M-E-R. I am using Babel's new e-text. In the description I given the font link. I'm going to place this font on center of the layer. With the help of move tool. How big you want. After adjust the size. Head down to select the blending options. Select the Outer Glow option. I'm going to change the color for Outer Glow. I'm using this color code F70300. And look below on Element Segment and change the size about 12 pixels. Next select the color overlay. Change the color for this layer. Also apply this color code. CD7E2E get like mine text color. Now select satin for this. Also I'm going to change the color. eight hundred seventy two D zero F increase the opacity one hundred percent and change the distance to ten pixels and keep the size about fifteen pixels. Select the inner glow option, change the blend mode to color dodge. Color code for this E5C23B. Keep the opacity to 100% and then in element segment change the size to 10 pixels. Then hit OK. Now we finished landing option setting for our text. Next change our text layer to rasterize type. Select our text layer. Right click on it in the option choose rasterize. Rasterizing a Photoshop layer converts a vector layer to pixels. Vector layers create graphics using lines and curves so they maintain their clarity when you enlarge them. But this format leaves them unsuitable for artistic effects that use pixels. Now take the eraser tool make sure to select soft brush. If you want to adjust the brush size. Open bracket will help to decrease your brush size and close bracket will increase your brush size. Now erase the upper part of the game text after completed with the brush tool go to filter select distort and select zigzag keep the both value for style was pawn ripples now our font was changed like a wave style still need to do a bit more for our fire style font i downloaded fire image for apply to on our font if you want that fire image i given in the description now press v to select move tool drag the fire image and drop onto font image use the free transform tool to adjust the size place it which position is better for your font after finished our adjustment, go to channel panel next to layer panel in green channel layer. Hold control and click on the thumbnail. 
press CTRL C to copy. Then come back to our layer panel press Ctrl press CTRL V to place the green channel to layer panel. Now hide the original fire layer. Let's rename the green channel layer to fire. Use the free transform tool. Use the layer where you want it all. Duplicate the layer and apply where you missed the fire effect. I'm going to make speed this part. After finished, use the eraser tool to unwanted fire. After finished with eraser tool use the smudge tool. The smudge tool is used to smear paint on your canvas. The effect is much like finger painting. You can use the smudge tool by clicking on the smudge icon and clicking on the canvas and while holding the mouse button down, dragging in the direction you want to smudge. That's all we done our fire text effect. If you like my way of teach please subscribe my channel. Give like, comment on below. Thanks for watching.